Hey cricket enthusiasts, welcome back to Hello Experts. Today we are diving into the much anticipated World Cup match between Sri Lanka and New Zealand scheduled for November 9. There is a lot to discuss so let's jump right in. Both Sri Lanka and New Zealand have demonstrated exceptional skills on the field setting the stage for an exhilarating encounter. Let's quickly delve into the team statistics and recent performances leading up to this pivotal match. Sri Lanka renowned for its unpredictable style boost a blend of seasoned players and promising young talent. On the flip side, New Zealand, a consistently formidable team, brings a mix of power hitters and adapt bowlers to the forefront. The contest holds the promise of excitement and unpredictability. In Sri Lanka's camp, attention will be on stalwarts like Angelo Matthews and the dynamic emerging talent as Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, the New Zealand will bank on the leadership of Ken Williamson and the prowess of players such as Martin Guptill and Trent Bolt. There are forecasts of rain disrupting the ICC One Day International World Cup clash between New Zealand and Sri Lanka scheduled for the November 9th at Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore, India. In the event of rain induced suspension on Thursday, both teams stand to earn one point. This scenario could potentially favor Pakistan significantly enhancing their chances of making it to the World Cup semi-final. The optimal outcome for Pakistan would be a substantial loss for New Zealand against Sri Lanka, although that appears improbable given Sri Lanka's lackluster performance in this World Cup. Echo weather anticipates rain in Bangalore on November 9th, the pivotal day for the New Zealand vs Sri Lanka match. The outcome of this contest will play a pivotal role in determining the Pakistan's destiny in the World Cup. With the match scheduled for the afternoon, the weather for Forecast predicts overcast skies with intermittent showers and the potential for the thunderstorms. If the Bangalore match faces a washout and Pakistan secures a substantial victory over England on November 11, the Green Shirts will secure a spot among the final four teams advancing to the semi final. After a washout, Pakistan would first rely on Sri Lanka to defeat New Zealand and then win their last game against England. This would take Pakistan's total to nine points. Sri Lanka with a win would reach four points keeping alive their chances for the qualification in the knockout stages. New Zealand gaining 9 points must win their subsequent match against England to ensure a semi-final berth. Sri Lanka would still have a chance provided they win against New Zealand and maintain a higher net run rate than both New Zealand and Afghanistan. New Zealand will move up to 9 points and will have to win their last match against England to secure a place in the semi-final. What happens if New Zealand emerges victorious? New Zealand would elevate to 10 points, securing a superior net run rate compared to Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. This outcome enhances their prospect of advancing to the knockout stages. As the match day draws near, the significance of strategies can't be overstated. Will Sri Lanka lean towards a spin-centric bowling strategy? How well can New Zealand's batsmen navigate the unpredictable Sri Lankan bowling lineup? These inquiries will significantly influence the course of the game. Engaging with the fans on social media has revealed a high-end level of enthusiasm. Supporters from both teams are anxiously anticipating this showdown and the comments section is alive with predictions and anticipations. Keep those insights and forecasts coming. So what do you think which team will win the match? 